spit it out, ain't the gospel. Hello, hello y'all. So I forgot to say, Shmo Morris. Oh, I got one thing to say out here, you know, many people, many people are mad at God. You know what I'm saying, mad at me when you bring God's name up a little bit. Yeah. When you bring up uh, anything, I'm not perfect. Said, no, no, you're not. We just talk about God. When you bring anything up, oh, there, 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 there. they always want to riff. It's fucking debate, though. So many people that mad at God, you know why? Because they once or twice put their life in God, and they feel God has let them down. And when they went through the woods of this and they're testing, they didn't, they didn't, you know, they didn't cry out to God. They tried to cry out to man and woman. So remember that many people, many people despise God. So they so say, I'd rather go to my husband. I'd rather go to my wife. I'd rather go to my child. I'd rather go to my mother and my father. And that just goes to show you yeah, they despise God. So any, anybody, name you bring up. And if, just like if you had a husband. And the woman, you know, the woman don't want to talk about the husband. Right, come on. We know. Same with a man and a woman, right? So when you talk about God and somebody always going to skip the subject, that's because they don't glorify God, they don't worship God, and somewhere in their life they feel God has let them down. But, uh, you know, I'll tell you something, God lets none of us down. You know, we the failures. We let God down. So, you know, stop trying to big up man and big God up what you're supposed to. And remember, Jesus Christ died for you, you know, and stop trying to say, oh, I, uh, you know, I believe in this, I believe in that, I believe in this. Stop trying to play fear. You understand me? That's not going to get you into heaven, and that's not going to get you at any points with God. You understand? So, you know, just be truthful like those who are truthful that just say that what they, you know, honestly don't believe in and don't believe in it and stop trying to fit in and, uh, you know, stop trying to make yourself seem like you're, so, you're such a good Samaritan, such a good family person, and all the nonsense. You understand? If you're not, you know, right, if you don't worship God, you don't worship God. I ain't saying you was perfect or you didn't sin. You understand? That's only God. They don't do that. So don't ever get, never get that twisted. You understand? So stop stop coming out here twisting up doctrine. Stop coming out here twisting up the kids and twisting up relationships and trying to twist up things and make things go in the way that you want it to go because you can't make it happen the way you want it to go because you're not God. So don't think you're God and you never will be. And never will none of us be that. So no matter what you do, you can twist up your face, you can look arrogant, you can have an ego, it doesn't matter what you do. But let me tell you something, in the end, you will pay for all that nonsense. And anybody you mislead and deceive, oh, believe you me, God will deceive you. So in Jesus' name, I pray that all you come up in the hand of the Almighty and stop playing God, stop playing with the kids out here, stop playing with the men, stop playing with the women out here, stop playing with your very souls and just make the truth like you're supposed to. All my true born again Christians, blessings in Jesus' name. Spare out in the gospel. You know I love you all.